This is my decision, decision. This is my decision. Give me one break, I need faith. Faith to believe you, faith to receive you. Give me something I'm lacking. I don't need nothing. You are my everything. Only me and you. Only me and you. Only me. his hand over our lives. May God's favor continue to carry us through as we embark on this new journey. I love you, Osahan. See you at the altar. family and friends we want to welcome you guys Woo! it's going to be a beautiful day a glorious day especially for you kelly and laurel i'm um, so excited to be able to be here um, to do this that we get to invite the presence of god to be here with us this is not just the two of you this is not just family and friends that support you but most importantly this is happening in the presence of our heavenly father we're going to jump right into the vows uh, there is a commitment there is the scripture talks about making a uh, commitment and then what God does is he takes two and makes them become one and what God joined together no man shall separate and Kelly and Laurel have prepared their own custom vows so I'm going to give you the microphone so everybody can hear um, your vow. Kelly we're going to start with you Oh, <laughs> I think I got the wrong one. <laughs> you know what? I can't, actually, I have as many words to say, but uh, you know, I'll save this for later. All right. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, I uh, I definitely will be needing some water <laughs> after you know all of this. Like seeing this beauty right here, you know, my mouth is like open, <laughs> literally. So, yeah. good job, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to start right now by welcoming everyone, and I appreciate everyone for taking your time out to be here today. It means a lot to us. I'll begin by saying this. When we look into the eyes of our loved ones, we can clearly see how quickly time flies by. And then we know for sure that forever isn't a real thing because of how time flies. Laurel, when I'm with you, time slows down and stays even faster at the same time. It's crazy, right? <laughs> but that's the effect you have on me. When I first saw you in person, not the online photos, because those weren't really given, you know? <laughs> but when I saw you in person for the first time, I was like, dang, she's perfect. And then I liked you. And then we started dating, and I saw that you were imperfectly perfect. And then I loved you even more. You've helped me understand how to give and receive love in more ways than I know, and for this I say thank you. You once asked me what I thought you brought to the table, right? <laughs> and then we did, you know, talked about a few things, but I would like to re um, mention a couple again, just to reiterate. You bring partnership, and most especially peace. Peace in this chaotic world. <laughs> You're that peace. Not only are you enough for me, but you have given me more than I had hoped for in a partner. You have given me more than I knew was possible. And I'll tell everyone this, I had pretty, really high standards. You can ask my friends, they'll tell you. <laughs> I am beyond sure that I want to overcome every challenge with you, celebrate victories with you, and raise a family with you. And from this day, <laughs> I promise to always love you. I promise to always cherish you. I promise to be your partner in all things. I promise to listen to you with an open heart. I promise to be your tea partner, keeping the tea hot and ready and juicy at all times. <laughs> I promise to always strive to understand and appreciate your perspective. I promise to continue to grow with you, to learn from you, and to create a life filled with fun, passion, and adventure. I vow to be your rock. I vow to be your comfort. Together, we will build a future that is full of love, laughter, and unwavering commitment. I choose you to be my partner and my forever. I love you more than words can say, and I cannot wait to begin this incredible journey as your husband. I love you. Laurel, do you have some words for Kelly prepared? Here, the big day. Dear Kelly, before I begin, in front of all of our family and friends, I'd like to ask you just one question. What took you so long? <laughs> I guess it's in true Kelly fashion to be running late. Wow. But, you know, <laughs> just in the nick of time. Yeah, exactly. And I suppose it doesn't matter now since we're standing here today. I knew God was preparing you for me, but I realized he was also preparing me for you. When I prayed for my future husband, I used 1 Corinthians 13 as my checklist. He must be patient, he must be kind, not easily angered, etc., etc. The more I got to know you, the more I learned that you are 1 Corinthians 13, and you embody what it means to love and be loved. You are everything I pray for, and I thank God for bringing you into my life. Thank you for the calmness that you bring me, the safety that you provide for me, and for the love that you give unconditionally. With God at the center of all that we do, I know we'll be able to face any challenges that come our way. I promise to support your dreams, 
encourage you to be your best and ask you if you ate more than a granola bar because <laughs> a granola bar is not lunch. Sometimes it is. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to seek God's wisdom as we navigate this journey together and find joy in the small moments we will share. I vow to honor you, to listen to you. I vow to be patient and understanding, to forgive quickly and to love deeply. As your wife, I'll be your biggest cheerleader, your partner, your friend, maybe your best friend, Piyush, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm coming for that spot. <laughs> I look forward to creating a life filled with endless adventures. With you, I truly feel myself, and I know that with God's grace, we'll be able to handle whatever comes our way. Today, in front of our family and all of our friends, I want to take the scripture from Songs of Solomon's and say, I have found the one whom my soul loves with love. Let's go. This definitely is going to be a funny relationship. They got some uh, some little tricks up their sleeves. <laughs> but uh, to serious business, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. I'm going to ask you also to repeat after me, Kelly and Laurel, to to make things official. Um, we live in a world where words are taken lightly, but these words right here have a significance. Uh, I got married over 20 years ago, and I still remember what was said at the altar, what my wife said. And this significance is going to travel with you. It's going to be with you. And yes, in the good times when it's easy, and in the tough times when it may not be so easy. Kelly, do you take Laurel to be your wife, do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, holding on only unto her forevermore? Laurel, do you take Kelly to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, holding on only unto him forevermore? Uh, May I have the rings, please? So uh, we exchange rings, and rings have a uh, significance. There's several symbolism that's behind it. One of them is the eternal, right? A ring does not have a beginning, and it does not have an ending. And so with the exchange of ring, the couple marks, hey, what we are committing to right now is unending. There is no finish. There is no end to it until death do us part. But then also there's another meaning to the ring, which if you look at Bible times, a ring actually identified that you belong to someone. If you were royalty, you would have a special ring. You would be identified as somebody that belongs to royalty. With the exchange of rings, they're making a statement outwardly symbolizing that they belong to somebody now. There is no individuality. And then also a ring would symbolize authority especially if it was a king's ring, there would be a marking in it which then would be used to impress on certain laws or decrees that would be uh, passed to, to a country and would impact other The same way there is an authority that both of them walk in as a team now where they have each other's backing, where they can step in, where they can have each other's uh, uh, blind spot and cover each other. So with the uh, ring exchange, uh, I'm going to have you, Kelly, Take Laurel's hand, and I'm going to have you repeat. Say, I, Kelly, I, Kelly take thee, Laurel, take the, the Laurel to, be to be my wife, to have and to hold, to and to hold. In, sickness and in, in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, for and for poorer. In, joy and in, in joy and in sorrow. I promise my love, promise my love. and with this ring, I take you as my wife, uh, as my wife, for as long as we both shall live. All right, you may put on the ring. <laughs> All right, we are halfway there. <laughs> Laurel, I Laurel, yeah. take thee Kelly to be my husband. To have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, 
in joy and in sorrow, and I promise my love to you. And with this ring, I take you as my husband, for as long as we both shall live. Kelly's cousin, Pastor Jerry, may I have you come up here, please? But we're going to start with prayer, laying the foundation, the very, very foundation of this relationship. Praise the Lord. Can I ask the uh, audience, can we all stand up right now as we join them in prayer? You're also going to say what a prayer for them right now in this moment. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you the praise, we give you the glory. Thank you because you are the originator and the institutor of marriage. We invite you into this life today. Thank you for this beautiful couple. Thank you for this day. Thank you for making the, this day a reality. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you because marriage is honorable. Father, honor this couple today. In the name of Jesus, every good thing that accompanied marriage, let it become their portion from today. In the name of Jesus, the goodness of marriage, the sweetness of marriage, the honey of marriage, the wine of marriage. In the name of Jesus, let it become their portion from today. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise, we give you the glory. Let your name alone be glorified. Let your name alone be lifted. Thank you, Father. You will keep this one from the eyes of the evil ones. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Father, this one of hide under the shadow today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this marriage will be for eternity until Jesus come. No separator, no part of darkness will walk against this one. In the name of Jesus, as you pray together in unity, your strength is multiplied. Because the Bible says one shall put a thousand to flight. It says but two shall put ten thousand to flight. In your unity, you will fight and drive every intruder in this marriage. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. Take all of the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. At this moment, the couple will engage in a moment of lighting a unity candle, which is the symbolism of where two come together and become one, inseparable. And, uh, you know, you can't split a flame in half. So uh, I'm going to have you two step up and light the unity candle. Christ will be upon you and a thousand generations in your family and your children. Their children and their children, may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family and your children and their children and their children. Kelly Laurel, you said all the really important things. You said the right things. You were authentic by sharing and opening up and coming up with uh, just your own custom version. Um, this is a very special moment right now. It's probably the moment that you've been waiting all along for. <laughs> Kelly, it's official. Laurel, it's official. Your husband and wife. <laughs> Kelly, yes, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on. No, there is a seven second rule. <laughs> I was told there is a seven second rule. All right, Kelly, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Did you guys count? I know there's like half of you guys count. I'm, I'm getting signs, four seconds. <laughs> Kelly, Laurel, yes, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> May I uh, introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Kelly 
e amo!
Yeah. 